Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make something called an image transfer. Um, there's actually a lot of really cool ways you can make an image transfer. The point of making an image transfer is to be able to take a photo, such as a printout, and being able to put it on another surface. Um, as you know, photo paper, copier paper is really thin. You really can't make this into an artwork because it's just too thin. Um, but you can transfer it onto another surface, such as a piece of wood, um, or a canvas, or a really nice piece of watercolor paper, um, all kinds of things you can transfer it onto. Depending on the surface, you might want to um, put something called primer on it to make sure that it will, it will absorb the transfer well. Uh, a lot of times, a piece of canvas like this one that was already pre-stretched and primed, it was ready to go. Um, so it just depends on the surface. Here's an example of what an image transfer looks like. The material you definitely need is packaging tape. So these are called packaging tape transfers. What's really cool is the tape basically covers the photo and then transfers it, okay? So um, the tape becomes a part of your artwork. So when you're done transferring it to a canvas or surface, that tape is still there and it gives a really nice glossy effect. So here's an example of how you start. First, get rid of the background. We don't want to keep all the borders and especially any negative space that's just not necessary for your final artwork. Like I don't need this dark room that she's in. I just want the figure. So I'm carefully taking my time uh, removing the background, but also being really careful not to mess up, you know, cut accidentally cutting apart in a harsh way you know I don't want any edges that are kind of blobby looking so I have to slow down at certain areas I'm cutting around her neck so I'm being really careful here she's good to go so you don't need your straps all you need now is some packaging tape so you're gonna take and again this is whether you're doing the inkjet print or the laser jet print, you start the same way. You cut out the background and you get a bunch of packaging tape. And, you know, I would say anywhere from like five to eight pieces of tape is what you'll need depending on how big your photo is. Mine's rather small, so some of my pieces are gonna be longer than others. I uh, probably will need one more. Okay. And you're actually going to tape it to the table where it is. You're going to carefully lay them flat right over top, okay? And hopefully you can see. But I'm just carefully now I'm overlapping the tape just a little bit so that there's no gaps and that it's nice and smooth. Take a moment to smoothen out air bubbles. It's so easy to accidentally get a wrinkle. Um, so you really want to be smooth about this process. If you do get a little wrinkle, you can try to smoothen it out with your finger. And hopefully, like I just got one, but it's really not that big of a deal. So now what you're gonna do, take your fingers and you're gonna carefully start peeling back from one of the corners. And you wanna do this very carefully, kind of putting some of your fingers underneath to help guide it up. You can't do this in one big pull. You have to, again, see my fingers are underneath in the back here, guiding it up, especially around areas that are delicate, like the face here. Ooh, it's fighting me a little bit. So I'm gonna go along the outside first and then just work my way around. If it feels like it's fighting you, don't be too rough, okay? You do want to have it in here soaking for at least 15 minutes before trying to do anything with it. Okay, so now it's time to transfer the laser jet print um, from the packaging tape, okay? Um, I'm going to put it on a surface that's already painted, made as a background since it's something that you can't really change afterwards. But the first thing I need to do is pull it out of the water, 
flip it over and use your fingers to remove the paper because it, it's going to still have this paper backing on it. Um, we need to take time to peel it away. And you Okay, so now I'm going to um, go ahead and take a moment to grab my scissors and see if there's a way I can cut off some of the extra tape. Usually it's easiest to do this with the tip of your scissors rather than cutting with the entire pair. I don't need to like go all the way up against the edges, but just to get rid of as much tape as possible. So typically it actually sticks to a surface pretty well, just like a sticker. But if you ever find that, you know, it's not sticking very well, you could always use um, tacky glue and that will help. Just put a like use a paintbrush and a little bit of glue and just kind of put it on a couple spots and that can just help secure it. I don't think that's going to be necessary, but that can be something you can do if you ever find that it's not staying. So I'm carefully lining it up against the edge. Um, and you know, I kind of just put it in the middle. Let me play around for a second. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I kind of really like in the middle actually in this particular situation. So I'm gonna put it in the middle for this one. And then I'm carefully using my hands, my fingers to smoothen it, push down on all the sides. One thing I really love is the way this looks is you can actually see the painting showing through the image and that looks really cool.